We're here in downtown Appomattox, Virginia. In 1865, this was a small settlement called Appomattox Station, a stopping point on the South Side Railroad between Lynchburg and Petersburg. On April 8th of 1865, four Confederate supply trains sent from Lynchburg are waiting here for Robert E. Lee's army approaching from the east. Aboard these trains are 300,000 rations, individual meals, for the hungry Confederate soldiers. Unfortunately for Lee and his army, they're not going to get this food that afternoon. What they don't realize, about four o'clock, from behind me, from the east, Union cavalry are approaching. An entire division commanded by General George Armstrong Custer. Custer's cavalry will sweep here into the village. They'll capture three of those four trains. The fourth actually escapes back to Lynchburg. This is a problem for Lee on two fronts. First of all, he's lost the food he hoped to feed his army with. Second, and even more importantly, for the first time in this entire Appomattox campaign, Federal soldiers are now in front of Lee's army to the west. And the fighting that, uh, that begins here about four o'clock by sunset has shifted nearly a mile to the east, and it will develop into one of the most unusual battles of the entire American Civil War, the Battle of Appomattox Station.